running and dad is buying the camera we're virginia tombstone revival that we are and we are going to be cleaning thomas j comer first lt lieutenant lieutenant 62 trp uh troop uh, i don't know what this all these acronyms mean it's another one that i'll have to research or um, anybody in the comments can help us out with this one looks like captain no no troop c-a-r-r-g-p-a-a-f I, I i don't know but just Sorry, read the rest uh, world war ii we'll figure it out and he was born april 8 1922 and he died January 4th, 1958. Okay. And this one has been soaking in D2 for a little bit. And there's one right there that we're going to do. And we're going to try to stand that upright. God only knows how long it's been like that. And then there's another one, another veteran right back there. So we'll just do all three of these in one video. Um, since today is the 22nd of May. So Memorial Day is getting very, very, very close. And I feel like we haven't done nearly as many uh, veteran tombstones as we did last year. So we're going to have to try to um, get on that. But anyhow, get the tripod set up so y'all can see a little bit better. Again, it's already been soaking in D2 for a little bit. So Ronan's figuring out what brush he wants to start with today. I do have a couple new brushes coming in um, that should be here sometime today, depending on Amazon. This nylon? Uh, yeah, I think so. It, it's not metal, that's for sure. All right, Roro, let's go ahead and soak this one uh, down with water. Spray it down. Keep it wet. All right, I got the ones that I want to use for this one. Toothbrush 2.0. This little thing. D2 is already starting to turn this one orange. All right, little man. Start rocking on this one. My dad finally figured out how to put the thanks button. And if you click that, you can basically donate however much money you want to. And all that money basically goes straight to me <laughs> for cleaning these two stuff. Okay, so, so yeah, so we had somebody leave in the comments a suggestion that we... Um, attached the, the thanks button and stuff down at the bottom where all the information and stuff is in all of our videos i've seen that in other videos i didn't know that we had qualified for it but apparently we did so i signed up or not signed up for it but i put it on our videos the other day and we've already had a few people um donate to us so we want to give you a special shout out right now so rona why don't you go ahead and read those names off with a very very special thank you elaine wood elaine Woodard. Woodard. Elaine Woodard. 2970. And. The, the yeah, this other one. It, 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 I'm, Max I, Zuckerberg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Mars Akbar, but if we've butchered that, we apologize. But yeah, I, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. But thank you. Then. And then we have. Janice. Yep. KPC. Yep, Janice KPC. Thank Scott you very much. Scott Burley. Scott Burley. 285. 285. Scott Burley 285. And Sue Ford. Sue Ford actually signed up on our Patreon uh, most recently. So we would like to thank all of you. So, yeah, um, today when I was coming home to, to pick Ronan up from his mom's, I decided to. <laughs> it's probably going to end up biting me in the butt and run is probably going to get rich off of this um all the anyone that donates for like the the thanks button or anything like that since ronan does come out here and he does work his little butt off and he you know he tries to do the right thing i think i'm going to go ahead and make all of whatever we get from those the thanks button donations that's just going to go to the ronan fund i guess me. but anyhow if if you if you want to donate to that that's great if not we completely understand it's just a way to, you know, to help us out a little bit more so we can buy more supplies so we can keep doing this a little bit longer. All right, Ronan. On you. We need to start writing a script or something out because this... <laughs> making the stuff up as we go sounds horrible when I'm trying to edit it all together. Dude, this thing's actually...
actually pretty good. Yeah, it's starting to get dry again. Let's get the um, the brush bucket over here so you can keep the stone wet. Hey, Rona, I do have a level, so we can level that stone today. All right. I didn't think I had it in the bucket, but I did. Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. On Memorial Day, we should um, put all the ones that we've done this year that are um, military and put them into one video. Into one video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could do that. And then post that on Memorial Day. Oh, let's see if I can get in there with you. This brush is just about had it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that this thing is this thing's awesome. It's doing like everything. Still need to order some of those uh, bamboo skewers that people keep telling us about for the uh, the letterings and the uh, engravings and whatnot. But you want to know what we have right now for it? These. Yeah, my little um, duty weapon there. brushes. Or we could use this. That actually works pretty well. Yep, we, should, we can use this on the whole stone, but it's like fine. I haven't used this one before, have you? Uh, probably for some just some little stuff, but nothing major. But yeah, the little bugs are out already biting us. Or biting me at least. Expose that one already. One thing, I think this is gonna be dark, so I think this is gonna just shine out on the piece. I'm gonna try to get this as good as I can get. This guy back here was a court and the quartermaster like I was for a little while. Alright. Hey look. Yeah, someone's walking the dog. Yeah, it looks like the dog from our neighborhood. Doesn't it? Wow. See that kind of shines out on it.
I'm, I brought the uh, the blower so I, we can blow all of the stuff off of it after it's done. You could also use the drone for that. No. The drone could work for that. No, the blower is straightforward. All right. Do you want to give First Lieutenant Comer plant his flag for him? Sure. All right, stand up. There you go. Yeah, get all the stuff out of the way. All the all the brushes and your phone and the the level also, please. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Give First Lieutenant Comer his salute. Should I put it here? Yeah, no, no. I always put it on the same side. Okay. Let's. Is that hit the bottom? No, it's good. Just barely. It's good. All right, do you want to give him his salute? All right. Nope. Stand over here, like you would be facing him. Good job. All right. Read this one more time, Robo. Thomas J. Coomer. Comer. Yeah. Comer. First Lieutenant, 62. 62nd Troop. 62nd Troop. Um, Carrier. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. If any of y'all in the Carrier comments group. know, please tell us. Troop, 62nd Troop Carrier Group would make sense. Armed Air Force? Uh, I, I don't know. But he fought in World War II and he was born. April 8, 1922. Jan and he died January 4th, 1958. All right. And instead of doing our typical sign out because the sun is going down on us pretty quickly, it's after well after 7 o'clock now. Uh, so we're just going to jump onto this one right here. So again, this one has been soaking in D2 for a good while. Oh, this one. Look at that. Yeah, this one's been. A... This one's been lying down. It looks like for a while because a lot of this looks like it's been weathered away. Oh. Um, let's read it first. This thing's thick. Oh, he's an ordnance guy. Okay, so I was a quartermaster and I was ordnance. So both of these guys were kind of in the same departments I was in. Okay, so I'll go ahead and read it. John W. Butler Sr., Virginia, private. Um, 701st Ordnance Company, World War II. And he was born April 9th, 1916 and died September 16th, nineteen. 53. All right. <laughs> you ripped your glove. Probably clean it before we put it down. I mean, we don't need to clean the sides if it's just going to keep laying down like that. Can we get that stuff off of it? There we go. All right. Yeah, his has been 
getting eaten up by lawnmowers. Maybe it was storms or something, like water hitting it, maybe? You can try it. It's been a while since I've used that big one. I'll put some fresh clean water. Wow. Oh, there's stains of it like left on it. Well, once. It has a couple weeks soak, soaking in the D2. All that I think will come off pretty, pretty good. I mean, something has scored it pretty good. All right, you want to soak this one? I don't think there's too much more we can do to this one. It's still a lot better than it was. Reunited in death. His wife's name is Benita C. Butler. She was born January 15th, 1916, and died January 19th. Does that say LOL? I don't think so. That looks it's like LOL. Though. probably just from like a weed eater or something, bro. Here, finish spraying it. That is bad. Nothing looks great, guys. Hmm? It's like nothing looks great. Nothing looks great? Nothing looks great. Oh, I know. So let's go ahead. Well, he's on a kid dirt bike. Yeah, I know. But he like bumped up the engine tundra. It's, it's okay. All right, let's get all the stuff out of the way. And then we'll move over to William Leo Butler. No, we're not done here. Well, don't, yeah, yeah, I for, okay, okay, I forgot. All right, hold on, let me move all this stuff back out of the way. So I can get a good video of you playing in that. That's good. All right, give a good salute. Is that good? Yeah. All right. We got John W. Butler Sr. so far, and First Lieutenant Thomas J. Comer. And lastly today, we have Private First Class, William Leo Butler, Virginia, 432nd Quartermaster Salvage Company, World War II, born December 14th, 1914, and passed away May 31st, 1963. Again, this one's been soaking in the D2. Get all of our brushes and water. You giving up on me?
Yeah, as much as I hate to admit it, I can tell Ronan's kind of, kind of getting out of wanting to do this. But even if he does, it's definitely become a passion project of mine, so I fully intend to keep on going. Confident the D2 will take care of the rest of these stains on here over time.
<laughs> they're getting you now too? No, they've been getting me. Yeah. That's good, bro. Yep, that's very good. Outstanding. All right, again, the three that we just finished before Memorial Day. We have Private First Class, William Leo Butler. Excuse me. Hey, John W. I wonder, I wonder if they're related, Butler. Yeah, I wonder if they're related. John W. Butler Sr. I wonder. And then First Lieutenant Thomas J. Comer. All right, you want to get the little little bottle and spray these down with D2? Absolutely. Now, I see a flag over there that's very... Yeah, we can replace that tattered flag. No, Let's start with this one. That one's the first one we did. Just turn, yeah. Not, not the stream. Get the fan. Nope. Nope. It's already starting to turn orange. Do your thing, D2. Do your thing. Um, maybe a little bit more, like on the outsides. Yeah, definitely in the uh, across. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yep, that should be good. All right. You want to get a. Uh, spray this little kids down just to see what D2 does without scrubbing. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can do that. This is Ronald Edwin Briggs, infant son of John and Florence Briggs, and he was born and died May 21st, which was yesterday, 1952. All right, that's enough. Yeah, we'll come back in a couple weeks to see what that one looks like. It's definitely not, we don't use wet and forget, but... We'll just see what that kind of does without scrubbing it. All right, Roro. -Ro. You cleaned two really good ones. Hey, that one's already orange. That one's orange too. Yeah. Yeah. And this is our second subject, I guess. Um, do you just want to replace the flag on this one or what? Because I think this was the wife. This one. Albert J. Sanford, Tech 4, 42nd Field Artillery Battalion, World War II. I'm Battalion Sergeant Major is what I'm thinking that means. Um, BS, and if, if I'm wrong, let me know. August 28th, 1911. Died February 5th, 1949. Yeah, that flag has seen better days, so go ahead and get a new one, buddy. Good job. Do you want to spray this with some D2 also and just see? <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I bust my butt all the time. Are you going to give him a salute too? Okay. Yeah, this one's not in bad shape considering it's 1949. Um... Yeah, we just wanted to replace that really, really tattered flag with something nice and new and more respectful. All right. I think we're going to call it a day. Yep. We have not eaten dinner yet, and the sun is behind the trees now. So, for Virginia Tombstone Revival, I'm Christopher. I'm Ronan. And be excellent to each other. He said it. You got to do it. <laughs>